You see, I would let him bite me, but he's just gonna end up Just <laughs> Look at our little cause. <gasps> now we have three babies. The baby. Have you been stuck here? Good morning, Olive. And to all you epic Fortnite Minecraft pranksters, welcome back to the Urban Rescue Man. I have something very exciting for you. This is my first ever goose hatchling, and it is from Morgan Gold from Goldshaw Farm. Go subscribe to Morgan Gold. He's a very handsome man. He's got a wife and a bunch of little uh, barn cat kids and a beautiful little dog named Toby. Uh, and if you guys go over and watch his stuff, you'll probably even get more serotonin than watching this. Yeah, guys, Morgan sent me some gosling chicks and I am so very excited to see them come out. It takes about three days for them to go from pipping to be completely out of the egg. I think one is already completely out of the egg, but I'm still gonna wait a day before I get them out. And this goose is gonna be unlike any of the other geese we've had. Now we've rescued geese before from uh, neglect situations or abandonment situations, but we have never raised and hatched our own goose. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can get a goose to be just as useful and friendly as a handsome little dog like this pog boy. But Uncle Ben, how can you get a goose to be as cute and friendly and useful as a dog? I'll show you. But it's time to go outside and feed the chickens. Hey, Kevin. Sir? Sir? Hey, hello. You see, I would let him bite me, but he's just gonna end up. <laughs> okay, there it is. Sir, sir, please. <laughs> sir, please. Please, sir, sir, sir. Please. Oh, goodness. Oh. King, please. King. Wait a minute. Is Kevin coming on to me right now? Okay, so I just filmed a TikTok. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. This pigeon escaped and then came back. <laughs> this is Kevin, and he has a demon. Back. No. No. Isn't creation amazing? <laughs> I love this. Again, I let Kevin kind of demolish me, and now he's just kind of attacking this thing. I'm afraid he'll hurt himself, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and feed Karen a little bit here with this nice good stuff. The baby's just hopping around. Arsidius is just chilling. Pigeons are all chilling. It's Nikon and the three regular Pidgeys. And uh, that one other pigeon is right there. So I'm gonna try and leave this gate open. See if I can get him to come in somehow. And I'll move Poggers over to a different yard so he doesn't, uh, hurt them. Oh, hello, Kevin. In addition to getting some more eggs, we actually hatched another one right here, and uh, I just gave them to the mom right here. Now we have three babies, and just keeping them all nice and warm. Uh, and we got another egg right here. A few more in there, but they're probably bad. Okay, so I put Kevin and Karen back in there because they're tweaking out. I'm gonna change this water real quick, and I'm going to use this hose to spray down a little bit of the cat cat that's over there. I am bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna have to disinfect this uh, with some kind of antiseptic. Hello, Pog. Keeping Pogger in here for a bit because I don't want Poggers to kill some adorable little babies. This isn't working. Okay, because I was letting the Karens in here, I'm gonna have to spray down their poop a little bit. No, Nikon! So Nikon just flew away again, and I think the pigeons are doing laps around the house, which is kind of neat. Look at the baby acting all stupid over there. Yeah, so the pigeons are just doing laps around the house in the neighborhood. It's kind of cool just to stretch their wings. But I suppose that if I love them, I'm supposed to let them go and fly around like little boys and little girls. Oh, there they are way up there. Time to check on the nursery. Okay, guys, here's the first look at our little cousin. Oh, he's perfect. I will name you Morgan. Let's see real quick if any of these other eggs pipping, no? No, don't think so. Just got the one so far, but that's okay. I would literally murder for this adorable creature. Morgan, I will protect this thing with my life. This is my new favorite animal in all of existence. Welcome to the army, son. Okay, so I'm gonna need to go ahead and get a lot of these guys and move them around. These guys are getting too big for there. So I got a secret weapon. Okie doke, so I'm having to scoop all this nasty stuff out by hand. This is all really good compost though. Great compost as a matter of fact. It's all old, nasty, sludgy, 
uh, wood chips that used to have poop on. Okay, phase one is complete. I cleaned it out, wiped it off, a little bit of disinfectant. Now I have a nice new thin layer of chips. Don't need much, just enough to cover the bottom, about an inch. Okay, it's the nighttime now, and I don't think you guys have noticed, but I haven't had these lights on in a long time, and it's not really on purpose. It's because every time I turn the lights on out here, for some reason in the garage, the incubator lights just die. And I don't like that. But we need to have a water in here for the chicks. Because Poppy likes to drink. And uh, oh, there's a little tail. What are you doing in there, Poppy? Hey, are you eating another rat? She's just in there because it's raining. But she comes and goes whenever she wants. So Sidious is walking around because he's a duck. So these are the two pigeons that I bottle fed. Nyko, that's Kevin's little noise. Nikon and little... Uh, chim chom. Okay, so I filmed the tiki talkie and it just ended up making Nikon and this other pigeon fly away even further, which is putting me in distress. So I'm just going to go ahead and let them be and pray that uh, an owl doesn't come down and demolish them. Oh, looks like Kevin is breaking out again. Okay, maybe I can get to this first. Kevin, back up. Why? Kevin, why do you have to be so needlessly aggressive, son? <coughs> Let's talk about this. It's too late for this, son. It's too late for this. Boy, you gonna wake up my fury. It's too late for this. Go back to bed. No. Go back to bed, boy. Go back to bed. Go back to bed, boy. I think he knows. Thank you, Poggers. <gasps> we need to find the baby. Hello, Karen. I haven't seen the baby in a minute. I assume he's sleeping somewhere in the shelter. The baby. Hit wrapper. Oh, the baby. Have you been stuck here? Actually, son, I see why you picked this little spot. It's a nice little nook. Nice little dry spot over there. What are you chewing on? He's got some grass to nibble on, I think. Oh, and the good shepherd leaves the 99 just to care for the one. Oh, <laughs> come here, son. Oh, hey, just your typical evening chores. I got the baby in here. Kevin, if you touch this beautiful little man, I swear. Okay, that's it, that's it. No, Kevin, you're gone. You're gone, go, you're gone, Kevin. Where is he? It's okay, the baby. I got you, buddy. You don't seem to be hurt. I'm gonna bring you inside. Okay, the baby's obviously fine. He don't think about things, but this is upsetting. I need to make sure that this is actually fortified and stuck to there. I really just need to man up and get another one of these fence things with a gate. That'd make things so much easier and safer for everyone. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just drop 50 bucks and get another one of those. Good night, Darcidius. Okay, the baby, here you go. Oh, he going right back inside. Bye, Poggers. Last time I saw Poppy was in that tree up there. And all is well in the hen house, as you can see. The hens are all chilling. Mama's bundled up in a little ball. This is the real Bertha. May we see them, please? May we see the children, Bertha? Oh, oh, the baby. All right, get back. Get back on them. Watch her gather them together under her wings. Oh. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. This is the first time I've ever let mothers take care of the babies. And even though there's a bit higher risk of them passing away, I think that with only three, she can handle it. And the rest of these moms are doing pretty well. Yeah, right, Bertha. Beep, beep. Gamer, thank you for being the man of the house. Nugget, thank you for being my wife. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been a long night, so I'm gonna end it by giving some of these glizzies and a banana to Poppy. Hello, queen. She might not even be in here right now. I'm just gonna leave this in here. She'll be back. Poppy really loves her bananas and her glizzies, but I'm sure she'll come back later tonight. <laughs> What? Oh, she was up there the whole time. This is what I mean, guys. Poppy will hang out up here and she will wait. And whenever the rats come up to nibble on whatever's up here, she will pounce down on them and attack them. This is the craziest, most metal thing. But earlier tonight, I saw Poppy up in that tree. Right now, she's hunting. Very interesting. She's actually camping. She's spawn camping. But okay, guys, that's it. No, I almost forgot to tell you. Ah!